Hello everyone, welcome to Friend and Fun. So in this video, we will carry on with the form elements and we will see how to use checkbox components. So right now I am in 10 underscore 1 checkboxes branch and I am running the dev server here using npm run dev. And I have opened another terminal so that I can install the dependencies here. Okay. So I am on master branch. So let me close this. Yes. So before we begin, let's install the dependencies. npm install fnd as a dev dependency. I am installing jQuery. And we need to install at the rate material slash checkbox and at the rate material slash form fields. Okay. So this may take some time depending on your internet connection. I'll be back once this gets installed. Okay. So all the three dependencies are installed jQuery, material checkbox, and form field ok let's open the code editor and inside our styles.scss I am just importing a random google font and assign the font family variable here ok so let's import the material components with read material slash form field slash mdc hyphen form field and the rate import the rate material slash checkbox slash mdc hyphen checkbox okay so since there is an issue here So I just restarted the server and everything was fine. Okay. Let's target the body. Set the font family to our font family variable. And I'm going to use some classes here. Text center, which aligns my text to center. And MB class, which adds margin bottom to my elements ok so jumping to index.html first let's write a h1 with a class of text hyphen center material.io checkbox component So this is our checkbox component there. Okay. So let's first create a div with a class of MB and inside this MB I'm going to another div with a class of MB and I'm just adding the checkboxes. So this is a just title here. So to create a checkbox we need to add div with the class of mdc form field ok so this is the main class they recommend using the form field class so we have written the mdc form field div here ok so inside this form field we need to write a div with the class of mdc hyphen checkbox chcqx checkbox and We'll write an input type with a class of checkbox and let's give this checkbox an ID chk1 and if I save as you can see this is our plain old checkbox fine next we need to add a div with a class of dot mdc hyphen checkbox 
underscore underscore background and inside this div we need to add an SVG I'm just copying and pasting it here okay next for the input element we need to add a class here the class is mdc hyphen checkbox underscore underscore native hyphen control okay as you can see the checkbox is working here fine so that is a default checkbox we can add a label to this element also so outside this MDC checkbox we need to write an label for chk1 and default checkbox so this is our label here so if I click on this label also it just works fine okay next type of checkbox is the disabled checkbox so I am just copying this entire code and pasting it here so to create a disabled checkbox we need to add a modifier class to this mdc hyphen checkbox underscore sorry this is a modifier class so hyphen hyphen disabled and we need to add an disabled to this input checkbox as you can see sorry I need to change the ID here chk2 so this is disabled checkbox So with, if we don't add a disabled property on this input element, it basically don't disable this element as you can see. It just disables the cursor here. As you can see if I hover on this default checkbox, the cursor changes to pointer. But if I hover on this checkbox, because we have added the disabled modifier to this div, it just removes the hover effect. That's it. To actually enable the disabled we need to write disable to this element okay so which disables the enter checkbox here next we need to initialize this using our script so first let's import mdc form field from at the rate material slash form field and we will import mdc checkbox from at the rate material slash checkbox and we will import jquery star as dollar from jquery dot min so I'm using a minified version here okay so we don't need to do this actually because it works everything fine without the JavaScript also but they suggest installation with JavaScript because to enhance the ripple effect so document dot ready function and inside this function I'll be targeting the MDC hyphen form hyphen field dot each function index comma form field element and let checkbox equal to we will find the 
will initialize new MDC checkbox and we need to pass here the checkbox element. So I am making use of a jQuery form field element dot find dot MDC hyphen checkbox and of zero. So without passing the zero we'll be getting a jQuery DOM object but if you pass of zero we'll be getting a DOM element there. Okay. So we have initialized the checkbox. Next we need to initialize the form field also. Let form field equal to new MDC form field and we need to pass the form field element here. The last thing we need to do is form field element dot input form field sorry form field element you need to write form field element also so if I suggest dot form field element dot input equal to checkbox ok so this should be form field so we need to make use of this variable here form field dot input right so input equal to checkbox so if I save this and give it try so without this let's give it try again so I see no difference but they suggest to add this functionality through javascript because to enhance the ripple effect on these elements so that's it with the checkboxes thanks for watching I'll push this branch to the GitHub repo. You can find the GitHub repo link in description below. And we'll meet again in another tutorial. Take care.